I'm in the car park at Talibond and uh, go for a short walk following up the uh, side of the river or the Avon Crow <laughs> uh, Colony up there and the trees come out and leave that's the 25th of April it's a nice time of year when the trees are just starting to come out the big trees are just starting to come out in uh, leaf this is uh, Talibond it's a retirement, largely a retirement community and quite pleasant bungalows uh, here I'll be going up here and along the uh, you know, through woodland on the side of the Afan Iskevin. I'm trying out a new camera on this walk. So this is uh, this is the footpath. No, oh, oh, well, I won't be going that way. I'll go up here. I think there's two footpaths, but uh, no, I think that might be private where they they're just walking the dog. On this walk once before just not too long ago but it's the first time I've actually taken a video of it. Let's look at the, that bungalow there. He's got a nice sun porch and of course he's <laughs> yeah have to be careful the neighbors might object to well some <laughs> most people are all right having their uh, house photographed Yeah, pleasant, let's say the Talibant, this part of Talibant uh, is, uh, well look at those bungalows there nice retirement bungalows and you're facing these mature trees and down there is the Iskefen which uh, is quite low on water right now because we really haven't had any rain for well about 10 days Uh, an experimental movie, a new camera, so and, uh, I'll just uh, yeah, telescopic. This time I plane ends here and it looks as though it leads up to that quite large house there uh, it's uh, it's kind of the sun's <laughs> yeah this it's nice nice and uh, well there are clouds but this is where the tarmac goes into a woodland footpath A gradual up, uphill walk on this pleasant woodland track. Uh, very, very convenient, uh, really, for the local walkers uh, who live in Taliban and well, uh, further afield. Even. It's uh, there's lots of footpaths. Oh, well, there's quite a bit of water. <laughs> No, we haven't had any rain for some... We did have a shower last night, but it well, didn't come to much. But of course, up in the mountains, it may have been heavier rain. And uh, put some water into the streams. As I say, this is uh, just a short walk. I've come about maybe three quarter of a mile from the car park. This is where it joins another track. This is all part of the Gorsi Geddel estate, uh, I believe, or it was at one time. And uh, just past that bench is our, re our uh, return to the car park, but on the lower track, which runs down, uh, runs down by the uh, side of the stream. Reach the junction of the tracks, but as it's such a nice day, I just think I'll just go along here a bit and see uh, 
is looks I think it's fairly level. Just past a couple of local walkers. I've got about well maybe maybe a quarter of a mile or so along this track from where uh, the track's branched and you can see there's the escaping not much water in it uh, I might now I've gone this far I might just go up to the 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 old uh, pack horse bridge I just think about this time of year and the the birds coming out with the spring song that's a blackbird up there somewhere I intended doing a walk at about a mile and a half but looks like it's uh, because it's a nice day I, uh, I'll be ending up with about a four mile walk yeah. This section of the path is these beech trees. They're fairly late coming out into leaf, but they are starting to come out. Uh, well, they're, they're early this year, but of course, normally uh, you don't see them come out in leaf until uh, <laughs> they're which is well into May, really. Now, up there, there's a, this is a footpath that joins a tarmac lane, and just shortly. Down the lane there's a, a 18th century bridge. There's an attractive cottage. Uh, Clematis. Okay, just down here, not far, there's the woodland path. Not far, just past that gate, there's that uh, pack horse bridge. There it is. Can't really see much of it from the road, but uh, Pont Vadog. <laughs> yeah. There's a inscription on it. I think it says 1762. That's when it was built. It crosses the Escafin. And uh, this tarmac lane ends by that house up there. There's the bridge. Uh, crossing the uh, Skeffin. There's that attractive cottage. I'll be doing a longer walk and I'll go up here. It's a better change, which is not too far up this, uh, this lane. This is a contrast from the woodland walk. And there's a good good look at the Lawley Ridge, which goes up to Diffwiths, about 2,462 feet above sea level. There's the, uh, well, uh, kind of like the, this is what I'm trying to see how much good noise there is. There's a burial chamber just there ahead. Again, so it's uh, it's some patchy clouds up there. But, uh, of course, it brings out the colour when uh, here it is. Uh, it's quite a, quite a good burial chamber, as burial chambers go. And, uh, it survived thousands of years, of course. Capstones are 
generally weigh several tons there's more for up there there's the burial chamber I've already this is a repeat video I've already taken this I think more than once on my walks this this particular burial chamber one of many if to be found really in this in the general, the general area <laughs> I don't want to drop this camera having just bought it and uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's the opera uh, uh, that'll come out very well away if that some quite heavy showers in the, uh, the uh, that lane that uh, runs to that 18th century bridge there's a track that runs well for miles way up into the top end of the Iskefen Valley and, uh, those might be snow snow showers over there it's actually temperatures in the 40s it's cold for the uh, time of year a brisk wind outbuildings of Gorsi Gettle and it looks like they're going to do some, doing some construction work here it looks like a little extension that's just been added this is a kind of a, a little studio in here I don't think there's anyone there so I'll stick my uh, camera inside yeah a little kind of like like an artist studio yeah. pottery started to come out to leave yet but there's of course it Geddel you can't quite really see a good, good riding from here it's an, I think it dates back to Elizabethan times uh, you can call it a mansion and uh, I think at one time they owned all this land around here and they still do this is a good try out of the camera there's another attractive cottage there please vain <laughs> Well, straight down this lane now for well a little over a mile back to the car I'll be going through Talibant estate there's the former lodge uh, for the Corsi Hill house and uh, it's actually uh, it's actually snowing there's one or two spots of snow coming down the substantive or substantial stone Entrance pillars for Gorsi Gettel Hall up there, and uh, this lane goes straight down to the main road a mile. It was originally, of course, the drive for uh, for the big house. You can see how uh, there's another nice house there, a good view looking over the, uh, the coast. You can see how uh, how this straight goes down straight for a mile down to the main road. Uh, it's a nice quiet caravan site uh, there. Park in itself. And, uh, now I can't quite remember th where the footpath goes. As a foot, <laughs> I may have made a mistake here because this goes down to the main road which is half a mile from where I parked the car fortunately I don't forgot to bring my survey map with me but according to that signpost there which uh, says this is a public foot map which might say, save me a half mile walk along but I don't have the map so I may have to <laughs> may have to retreat Sign 
it's saying private. So I'm already uh, uh, kind of uh, depends if this truck connects up. Uh, the end of it. Basically, just following my nose here, and uh, and we're going down this rutted cart track, and uh, I have an idea. It leads out on to a lane where I can, which in turn leads to the Talibant Estate. Through here, it's uh, it's certainly not used by the local dog walkers, but I think I'm a bit lucky because this is a this is a stone stone and there's a footpath sign on it. So there's the uh, Taliban estate there. Okay, so I'm back to square one. This is the lane I should have been on. Uh, so there's Taliban estate, and I think. Uh, into the estate so uh, again uh, all's, all's well <laughs> with the world okay I'm back on the estate so uh, less than five minutes to the car from here okay just come down here and uh, these bungalows and that's where I which I'm joining up where I started up that lane there. That's where I started in the woodland walk. So that's the end of this walk. I'm, I'm uh, just about two minutes from the car.